tractor supply where you can get your horses in the back and grenades in the front. Dude, okay, I'm just joking, just joking. Purchased this grenade from a guy down the street. Uh, yeah, it was a farmer down the street. Anyways, this grenade, I came across it and I saw it on my network. I was like, I gotta download this thing. I don't know what I'm gonna use this grenade for, but it's like basically a chainsaw and you can like, you can like press a button as much as possible. It's like, it's kind of a horrible mod, but it's creative and it's fun and it's just a little joke. Like if we do camp and survival, we'll have to use the grenade sometime. But I just like, you gotta always have a grenade in the back pocket. You never know what's gonna happen on the farm. Self-defense, baby. Toss a grenade, you know, some dude's dating your daughter. And say you have a grenade in your pocket at all times. And man, that dude will go fire. He will not want to date her at all. So, um, we are gonna, do, what we're gonna do is, I'm selling the F, okay, well, first of all, we're mowing. Okay, there's a lot of things going on in this episode. I'm supposed to be mowing and people are here for mowing. So we're gonna mow, but first we gotta get something done uh before that so what we're gonna do i'll pull up i'll pull up the game plan for this video so this is kind of part of the farming series but not really because i'm not going to really do any farming but <clears throat> this animal dealer uh she need needed her place mode and we had to come up with some type of deal so we come up with a trade i'll mow her entire place if she gives me 40 percent off on my next cow i buy i was like hey I was like, I was like, how's that sound? She was like, she was like, okay, okay, that's good. So I'm doing that. I'm going to mow her entire place for 40% off. That's, and that's going to be all summer though. I'm going to have to mow that all summer. So like, it's just going to be, you know, a cow's 3,500, so 40% off. So I'm getting what, like, uh, 1,500. It's close to 1,500 off, I think for the summer. Not bad when I have the equipment, it saves me some money. So that's what I'm planning to do, but uh, things have been going, I said last episode, things have been going bad on the farm, but things have actually been there. Things have been going bad, but we're still going to buy a new truck because this mod came out and I really want to buy this new truck. So that means the Ford's gone. Now there's there, you guys might be like, dude, this is so unrealistic. Why are you buying a brand new truck, dude? Farmers don't have the money these days. And I know we don't have the money, but this is farming similar and a new Chevy, Chevy mod came out and I want to get it. The, I want to use it as a farm truck. I'll, I'll I can give some some logical reasons as why we need it trust me it's not all just for fun we're keeping i'm always keeping this f-250 high boy on the farm no matter what even if you offer me a couple billion dollars not taking it so um i'm gonna buy this new chevy now i gotta figure out what color but main reason why i want to buy it is because this truck now people say it's on the streets well first of all i'm gonna use it as a farm truck and test her out it's got ramps it's got some cool features in the back I wish it was a 3500, you know, single rear wheel. It's just a 2500 right now. So it can't haul as much as the 2011 F350 we had, but it's a Duramax, it's a Chevy, you know, and I've been using Fords all this video. So I figured, you know what? Let's switch it up a little bit. Now the blue looks sick on this and it's this blue. This blue looks good with this. I'm going to go uh, to a box. Yes, to a box because we're on the farm. Uh, we'll go the luxury grill. And then we'll throw a tune on her because we're going to do a lot of towing. Definitely no aftermarket. I like the stock ribs on this. There we go. We're going to buy this truck. Now, I got to get this trailer back, this truck and trailer back. We'll see. Hopefully, it can haul the big techs. Uh, but then we got to go hook up to the Batwing mower and start mowing uh, the animal dealership. We got to get that high like I was a squad 20 on the on the license plate. But we got to get, you guys have seen this truck probably in my past two videos. But we got to get mowing the dealership badly. Nope. Those are the ramp, ramps. Uh, I want to... Nope, oh, wrong one. There we go. Oh, gosh darn it. See, it's... I gotta figure out... Yeah, okay. I gotta figure that out a little more. But this is gonna be... Let's see. By the time this video is posted, this will probably be released. Oh, this is... Yeah, I bet it'll be... This. Yeah, this will... It'll be released in an hour after this video is posted. And I think Artist Jack is going to be released on his channel. Once he releases it and I get that link, I'll probably make a community post and like link you guys over to Artist Jack's video of his release or just the link itself. I'll try to make a community post so everybody can get this because I think a lot of people have been waiting for this. So I guess how does the Dirt Max haul? It's just a it's just a goose egg trailer with nothing on it. You know, it can it can pull it fine. So for now, it does good. But we got to get back and we got to bat wing. Um, the animal dealership for Susan and I I kind of regret making up names because like I make up names for these people as part of a little like you know 10% of the video kind of roleplay ish I kind of always incorporate a little roleplay into the video 
but I always forget the names of people that I make up. It's so like Susan. I said Susan. Next video, I'm gonna probably call. I'm gonna probably call the animal dealership owner like Susie or something. So I don't know. It's I always forget the names badly. Okay, the Duramax is doing good now. A big reason why I wanted to haul with this is because everybody says this truck looks ugly, and I guess that's not that's probably not a good reason, but. I've seriously, I've literally been thinking about just going balls to the wall and and buying this truck in real life. Just putting, I don't know, I don't know if you pre-order order ahead. I've been thinking about it like, you know what? I, and I, I'm a huge Ford guy and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy this truck. Everybody says it looks ugly. I've seen some YouTube videos of some uh, high countries, like all, like not all blacked out, but some chrome high countries. I'm like, dang, those look pretty good. I would only probably keep it for like a year or so because I'm, I'm I'm truly a Ford guy and someday just I want to get a Ford F-250 or F-350 single rear wheel have that truck forever but I'm I guess I'm a truck guy in general and I wouldn't I wouldn't mind owning this truck for a little bit and just like getting it right when it comes out I've been I don't know I've been thinking about doing that I oh it's it would be it'd be crazy everybody would be like what the heck are you doing you got the ugliest tr truck on YouTube but I, I, I thought about it Oh man, someday I, I wanted to get a diesel so bad when I bought, I bought a 2015 F-150 uh, this summer and I wanted to get diesel so bad this summer, but the, the only reason why I don't get diesel is just because I live in college, park, I'd be parking a heck of a nice truck outside and uh, this winter, dude, it would, it would have been tough starting this winter. And it's a big truck to just drive around uh, a college town all the time, but once I get out of college, I, I'm going to buy a diesel so bad, I, I'm so pumped too. Just, couple more years but uh so excited too. i've been thinking about buying this though like okay anyways enough talking to me let's get mowing baby so as far as this truck i guess it doesn't now i think it like i've seen some youtube videos of like the high countries and they look a lot better in this truck oh gosh the grenades back i accidentally hit that but no they look a lot better than this truck I, i'm sorry i'm talking about trucks too much i've I, know, I, I like talking about trucks. This should probably be an RCC video. Uh, dude, there's so many things in Farm Sim I like doing. Um, but the 4955, we got to move this. I don't know what tractor I'm going to use on the Batwing yet. So let's see. We have the Batwing that I'll take over. And I may take over our Garden Tractor 2 to get this mode just because. Yeah, I'll, I may take over the Garden Tractor because we might need to get really close up to the house. And so it might not be a bad idea taking the, the garden tractor but that means I'd probably have to it'd be tough to drive it there I'd probably have to haul it with uh with the truck or if I had a little like 12 foot utility trailer I could haul it with the gator I could haul the little Alice Chalmers with the gator take the gator down the road and technically it would be legal since you can operate like you can operate any v okay so you can operate I think Iowa law follows this I'm pro I could be definitely could be wrong definitely could be wrong here but uh these orange signs right here when you have this orange sign on the back of your uh back of i guess any vehicle i don't know if you could put like on a dirt bike and rip your dirt maybe you could four wheeler you could probably do a four wheeler but if you put this on the back of like any tractor or gator or i don't know any other vehicle you can have and it's not like road registered i'm pretty sure you can have you can have your vehicle as long as you're five miles within the range of your farm you can be b driving that vehicle on a on a on a on a roadway pretty sure but i guess the only reason i say that and, and, and you know what I'm, I'm i'm not sure at all but the only reason uh, let me get this ah, what tractor are we going to use we could use the 8530 or you know what a bad tractor or a good tractor to use oh gosh darn it i'm going to sell this grenade it's so annoying but a good tractor to use would be the 72 or the 7800 be a fairly good tractor to mow with i feel like so you know what it's it's out in the middle of here or the 7800 it's out in the middle of here i, I think i'm gonna hook this up this is perfect mowing tractor oh gosh it's kind of weird i need to sell that grenade too badly because i i accidentally keep scrolling on my mouse but the reason okay back to the back to the, uh the caution slow moving vehicle side the reason I say that, the, the only evidence I have, I've never looked it up, anything like that. I probably shouldn't be saying things if, I've, if I don't truly know. But uh, the only reason I say that is because I was at work, uh, it would have been a summer or two ago. And I worked at a, I worked at like uh, a sand and gravel pit, basically. And I did 
some loading of trucks and a lot of a ton of mowing just around around the farm slash place but uh okay we can take this down the road i, I kind of want to clean this off first i know it's weird cleaning it off before you mow, but i want to clean it off a little bit but anyways what the what my boss had said i was with the gator and i was driving down the road and uh we were in a pretty big town we the place is actually in a pretty big town it's actually in town and i was driving down the road to fill up the gator with gas and this this cop was just riding my uh behind the whole <laughs> the behind the whole time and i was like i was like to my boss after i was like i'm surprised the cop didn't pull me over or say anything uh about driving a gator just down the, the middle of the street he was like uh, he said as long as you have that orange slow moving vehicle sign you can be uh you can technically be you can drive it on roadways if you're within five miles of the the farm or the operation and we were within five miles so i, I was like surprised the cop didn't like say anything like what are you doing or get off the roadway but yeah so uh 7800 dude okay that cleaned off so fast too okay hazards i'm i'm really enjoying this tractor and especially it's it's a versatile tractor versatile not me brand but but the, but the way we can use it around the farm uh you know you got the loaders in the front we're using it for bat wing it bat wing i'll probably use it for a planter tractor too someday it uh, it can do a lot i we really need to get mowing though so I will see you guys. We could put duels on this. I feel like you don't need duels on this right now. Uh, but I will see you guys once we get... How far are we? Once we get to Susan's. Yes, Susan's. Yes, once we get to Susan's place. You can see the 9R right there. I still haven't pulled it back from the field we are at. But... Well, I don't know if we're allowed to mow here. And so the reason I also had $500,000, gotta be completely honest with you guys, is just because I had to buy Susan's place to actually mow it. So I had to go in the map. For some reason, whenever I load up in the map, the game's a little slow. It takes like a couple seconds. I got a beast of a computer, and this thing's still kind of slow. It must be something up. Ever since I got the new update, it's been slow. But when you go in here, I don't know if we're going to be able to road, uh, be able to mow that. But I had to buy this whole piece of land, which was $600,000. I even had to take out a loan for part of it. Oh, is this going to allow us to mow this? It, okay, it might. Nope. It'll allow us to mow it real soon here, though. Yep. There we go. So now it allows us to mow this. And I don't want to mow over corn at all. Wait, can I mow over corn? I don't think I can, but that would be really sweet if you could. Heck, you know what? I could come back with the... <laughs> if we really want to get some more value out of uh, Susan's lawn, what I could do is I could come back with the, the grass sweeper and sweep this up and then feed it to the cows. Or just even bail this up. Well, I guess you can't bail behind a batwing. It's tough because the batwing mower will chop it all up into little pieces. Just doesn't do the best bailing. You you maybe could, I guess. <laughs> this is kind of a mess, man. Oh, this is fun though. This is fun. Something about mowing with a big giant batwing, mowing tall grass. It's just like just watching it shred it all up. It's uh, it's one of those things that are just fascinating to watch. Probably not after you do it for like hours and hours, but right now it's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. I always like just doing a doing a mowing video. <laughs> you can see we kind of made a mess across their driveway. Okay, how much does Susan actually want us to mow? There, what? No, don't tell me she. If we if we're gonna mow this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring uh, <laughs> I'm gonna bring our other mower here our conditioner and mow this and bail this up if she really wants me to mow that i'm definitely gonna turn that into bales we'll see though i wish i could get rid of these bushes badly Is that an old station wagon she has there nice little old station wagon i'm gonna do first person for a little bit and then one thing we need to do, once I probably get halfway through, okay, let me stay on first person, but once I get halfway through this lawn, I'm probably going to go get back and grab the, uh, grab the Alice, and then I'll haul it back, I'll haul it over here with the Duramax that we just bought, and then, uh, and then start really mowing up close by the house, because it's going to get, it's going to be tough to get some of this stuff. Oh, this is kind of sketchy too. This is some steep hills as we go across here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay, dude. I don't know. Is this pushing it for the... I feel like this is really pushing it for a tractor. You wouldn't want to do something like this. This is steep. 
Yeah, I feel like you wouldn't take a, a tractor like this across here. So that's as close as I'm going to get to the house. I, I really I really don't want to get up real close by the house. I'm going to get around this whole shed, but for now, I'm going to I'm gonna almost... Let me turn those hazards off, too. We'll lift her up. I'm going to almost just work my way around the same path. And then, like, I guess we could kind of... You know what? I'll probably take the mower across that. But I'm just going to work my way down. So now we'll work a pass around the outer. I'm mowing this really weird, but we want to be as efficient as possible. So I want to I want to get the bat wing as close as possible to the house, just to get as get you know get as much as much as possible. There we go. Yeah, it, it's getting a little sketchy around here. Not gonna lie, dude. This is getting. Would you, oh, I feel like this is? I feel yeah. Most normal normal people would not. I feel like take a tractor across that hillside. How steep that is. Especially the 7800 without duels. You know, if you had duels, maybe that'd help with stability a little bit. Right now, I feel like that's just too sketchy. It does a really good job getting around trees. It's one of the reasons why you want to have a two-wheel drive tractor, too. Because two-wheel drives can turn a lot tighter than front-wheel assist. Um, okay, I might follow that same path. We could probably do one more, one more uh, path around there. And then it, it basically starts getting into some open ground that I'm not sure if I need to mow or not. Okay, can we weave in between these trees? I might have to come back with the Alice uh, and just... No, no, we're good. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay, this is where it gets sketchy. Go sliding down the hill. Okay, now I gotta turn back up the hill. You see, like, I'm gonna have to come back with Alice Chalmers around some of these hills. Really clean that up. So far, it's working fairly good, though. It's always fun mowing uh, a tough, uh, a steeper terrain. This place is a jungle. There we go. Oh. Okay, so I, I went around the barn a couple of times. I should probably get up the driveway. I'm gonna leave that for now, and I'm gonna go back and... and really work my way around the house I could probably get a little tired of the house with this bat wing too uh, let's let's park this on some even ground somewhere Park in the shade for now there we go I'm not gonna fold the Rhino just because we're gonna be mowing with it some more so we got a it got kind of a good amount of done through here now I'm gonna go back and get the Duramax and then we'll pull I should call I should call the Alice Chalmers just Alice Alice we'll pull we'll, or we'll bring Alice back Start mowing here. Okay, now I don't. I really don't need the the loader on this thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna detach this loader. We there's no need for this. Uh, open up, open up. There we go. Uh, I'll put the loader. We kind of got a mess of attachments right through here. I gotta drop the tiller yet on this. I know. Maybe I should be putting. I'll put the some attachments back here. So there we go. Loader. Oh, that was bug it. Oh, there we go. Oh shoot. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can yank this loader off here. Right now it's stuck on there. Come on. There we go. Okay, loader's yanked off. We need to drop this tiller on the back. Hook up to uh, hook up to the mower deck. And then I might get this little sweeper. I think it'd be, it'd be cool to have the little sweeper with it. There we go. Pull around here. Oh, shoot. And attach to the sweeper. Oh, wait. You know what I could do? Oh, this would... You know what? This would be sweet. And I think I can do this. Oh, this is why I bought the Duramax, baby. I didn't even think about this, but this is a good reason for buying it. So I'm not even going to use the trailer. I guess we can't bring the sweeper if I do this. But I'm going to load the mower in the back of the Duramax here because it has ramps. So that means I got to drop this trailer. The big tax. There's my uh, high boy. I love that truck. I just, it, it's tough. Put It's tough putting a ton of weight on an old truck like that that's that's turning almost a classic but try not to like haul too heavy of stuff with it there we go so we'll disconnect that okay i gotta put the tailgate down uh there we go tailgate's down okay and now what i can do and i think it'll fit here it's kind of tough because we got the toolbox too i kind of forgot about the toolbox but i'll put ramps right there let's see if this works i love the ramp feature this was actually the ramp feature was done by punk of dylan back in fs 17 and a lot of people have just been using the ramp feature since 
So here we go. I'm gonna load her up. Ah, is this gonna work? I think it might. Climb, baby, climb. Ah, I figured that would happen. Is there any way I can lift this deck up? Oh, it was up. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna try going in reverse. I don't think that's gonna do anything though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it though. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we got her. Oh, there we go. We got her. Okay. Alice is in the truck. And, oh, okay. We can kind of go through the toolbox. I don't... I mean, why not? Why not? We'll, we'll shut the tailgate and everything. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. This is cool, actually, hauling the lawnmower in the truck. So I'll fold her up. Oh, oh. Okay, it's good. And then we'll fold up tailgate. Nice. <laughs> You can tell there's some weight back here, too. So, now we'll go over to Susan's. Yeah, we'll go over to Susan's. Start mowing around her house a little bit with uh, old Alice. Oh, oh gosh. It's, oh, speaking. Okay, so speaking of that. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm talking all the time. Some of you guys just want to see mowing. I, I, I apologize. Some people, some a couple people might want to listen. Maybe, maybe. Uh, but anyways, uh, the Alice, anyways, uh, Explainables Modding had, was working on a Razor, or it was, it was Exley, Nick Exley, I call him, I always call him Exley Edits, but he was working on a Razor, and what he's got down on, on the Razor is it has straps that will lock the Razor down, so you know how there's straps, like, on the back of the truck, uh, sometimes there's, yep, yeah, yeah, like these, exactly. So what it'll do this time is he has like attaching points on the razor. Whenever you put the razor on like a flatbed trailer or even a train, what happens is the ratchets like go to the to uh, like the axle of the razor and they'll lock down the razor on the train. And that's something it's like it's in a, it, it's crazy and it's pushing the farm sim community, the farm sim mine community. This will this will this will push it forward a lot. Like this is a this is a big innovation for it. Uh, next thing we need is chains. So when you load like a tractor on a on a uh, low loader, you can t you can chain down the tractor. That'd be cool. But we got ratchets, so you can ratchet down razors. For now, it's only razors, but it's still pretty cool. It's only like this exact razor model that that he made, and he'll I think he'll release it soon. Okay, so we got to figure out where to unload this at. We have ramps, but hey, if I could back up to a hill, that'd be I think that'd go pretty smooth. For now, you know what? For now, I'm just gonna we'll just unload her here. Oh, you know what? Let's put the tailgate down before we put the ramps down. Okay, shut that hood. Tailgate down. Ramps coming out. Perfect. We can shut off the truck now. So I'm gonna back this out or back this off. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, come on, come on, baby. Once she, there we go. Nice. It worked. Okay. Okay. Everything works on it. So now I got to mow around the house. Actually worked really good. You know what? Maybe I should use that truck for, for my uh, mowing series. Or for my like mowing business series. Well, we got a lot of mowing to do. Oh, wait. I should probably lower the deck on this. Shouldn't I? The old station wagon. This is pretty cool. Oh, shoot. Oh, the grenade. Darn it. That scared the dude. That scared the crap out of me. Actually, I was like, "What is that?" Um, we gotta sell this grenade. I, I said I was gonna sell it, and I never got to it. Four hundred twenty-five dollars. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get right up by the house, and we gotta get this all done. Is it? I wonder if there's a weed eater or anything. I think somebody said there was a mod out for a weed eater. It'd be cool if I could get it. Okay, get right up house. Sometimes we're missing some spots over here, it looks like. There we go. The beast, Alice. Now, in FS17, I don't think grass was this tall. And it's really fun. I've talked about this, but it's really fun mowing tall grass. And I love in FS19 how there's really tall grass. It makes the mowing series really fun. Here we go. Back her up. Oh man, see like like quarters like this. It's tough. It's it's tough getting in here. It's I don't know. I'm kind of just jamming the mower in the 
like something like this, you just have to have a weed eater almost. And so, oh, by the way, I guess if you, this is the animal dealer, guys, just in case you didn't know or you're new to the series and you don't watch my farming tours, this is actually the animal dealer where you pick up your animals. So that's why, that's why I've said forever that it's an animal dealer in case some people might have been confused there. The Alice has just been a monster in the backyard. Just been tearing it up back here. Uh, so we got the back yard in the, the, the opposite side of the house done now some spots we got to get done like these bushes <laughs> we, we i mean they're kind of they're kind of nice for the house actually they, they're like almost like landscaping for the house i could, I could definitely leave those there I, I'm, I'm basically forced to leave those there of course but uh i guess one spot we got to get is around this tree now i'm going to go around the tree a couple times if i think it's too much for alice what i'll do is just take the bat wing but the the prop property's already looking better there's some there's a couple more spots we got to get yet Going circles. Don't make me dizzy. Yeah, I think I'll take the bat wing around the tree. Seems like a better option. Cause it'd, it'd be a lot better. But now that we've cleared most of the tree, it'll work fine. So, we're I guess we're pretty much done. I don't know if I'm going to get to the barn. Maybe like next mowing time we'll get to the barn. I went around this barn once. I could probably hit it once with the mower to get really up. With uh, the Alice to get really up up close to the barn but this is going to be the end of the episode hopefully you guys did enjoy it see this side it's all done i got all this mowed down this back side there's some bushes i can't do anything about that this is all done through here need a little weed whacker uh, but this is going to be the end of the episode guys hopefully i guess end of the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button and seriously thanks for watching thanks for thanks for watching the channel and uh thanks for subscribing or or consider subscribing even thanks guys